Thank you for joining us today. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install a transom on your inflatable boat. If you're watching this video, you've purchased a transom from Gas Hopper, or you're just looking to install one on your own. Please follow along. You can select from one of these two adhesives to install your transom on your boat, and this is the list of tools that you're going to need. Alright, so let's get started here. As you can see, this is everything that we've delaminated around the transom when we removed it. And now we're just doing the inspection, seeing where all the dirt is and all the excess glue that's got to be removed. There's two little staples there that's got to get cut out as well. So let's get started on cleaning this boat. Cleaning is one of the most important processes, getting rid of all that glue and all the dirt in between there will allow proper adhesion for the transom to the boat. We want to make sure we clean around the transom too to remove any oils and greases. Okay, let's mix up our first batch of glue here. Uh, the glue we're using today is Stabon PVC glue. Uh, it's been provided from Quicksilver Mercury Marine. Now when applying your glue, make sure you put down even layers. Uh, follow manufacturer specifications for waiting time before applying the next layer. You're going to apply it to both the bottom of the rear gluing on the boat there and also on the bottom of the transom. Now when you go to line up the transom, you got to make sure you line the transom up straight center or else it's going to be very hard to make sure everything fits in the end. Now that you've got the boat transom secured to the boat, we're now going to start working in the inner channels of the tubes there and also on the side of the transom to make sure we get a nice even coat of glue. Once again, three layers of glue, follow manufacturer specifications. Alright, so now we're getting ready to fit the tubes up to the transom here. As you can see, I started at the very bottom here and I'm pressing as hard as I can with the inside the tube there, making contact with the inner channels of the tube that connect onto the transom. The more pressure you can put on there, the better. As you can see, I'm just working my way into it. Once you're satisfied and you got your tubes all uh, mounted to the transom, you're going to go ahead and inflate the tubes and use the set of ratchet straps as shown and secure that transom and make sure there's lots of pressure. Alright, well since the, the boat's got its own pressure and i got a little bit of glue left, I'm going to continue on and start gluing the inner pieces. Remember, three layers. So now I'm going to use my pressure tool and start pressing all that uh, fabric into place now. Go all around there, press it all in, make sure it's nice and tight. Nothing's coming loose. And now we're on day two. Fixing our next portion of loop. Now as you can see, I'm starting to glue the main supports of the floor to the transom now. Starting off at the back. And I'm working my glue in and all the crevice there and anything that may have come done after the previous night. As you can see I've got my channel locks there, they're uh, holding the fabric back there so I can glue in between there without the fabric folding over. See, I'm getting the glue into all the little cracks and crevices there to create any seals. And now while I'm in the process of waiting for glue to dry on one side, I'm now starting to press the floor into the, onto the transom. Now keep in mind when doing this, you always start off in the center and work your way out. Now I'm using that uh, kind of like wedge tool. And I'm using that to work any air bubbles out of the system, out of this uh, glue here because any air bubbles is bad. I 
and the more pressure you can put the better. Now I'm going to come in with the roller and give it as much pressure as I can at the edges there just to get a complete seal. As you can see I'm working my way around everything here. Alright, so now we're on the inside floor there. And while I'm uh, in the process, I'm going to start gluing the top portions of the transom with the little excess glue I have. And same thing, going to start off in the center and work my way out. Okay, we're on day three. So now I'm using Hypalon glue for this process. Because this is a Hypalon boat. Once again, I'm gluing all those little flaps down now, sealing them all up, hiding, hiding any imperfections. Now we flip the boat over and we're working our way on the bottom corners and doing the final ceiling. We get all this done here and this boat will be finished. Once again, pressure is key with this glue. The more pressure you can put on there, the better the, the seal. As you can see, I'm using my fingernails peeling away the tape, and I'm going to use my fingers and I'm going to roll all that excess glue off as you can see, right before it's fully cured. Now we're drilling our holes. We're drilling it, as you can see I just did my little marker holes. Now I got my holes on the inside there laid out. Now I'm going to do the correction. See now I did the center, and I'm drilling drilling it all the way through so this way I know where the center is and you get a perfect hole every time. Now I'm using some marine sealant on those uh, bailing caps. Just going to fit them in place, make sure there's enough silicone in there. I'm going to grab the rubber mallet, give it a few taps. She's good to go. Wipe her down. And you've got a completed transom.